Hi, and welcome to another episode of Fashion Library Review. Okay, so I am going to talk today about mystical stitches. The subtitle is Embroidery for Personal Empowerment and Magical Embellishment. Christy Johnson is the author. She is doing a beautiful job of integrating the worlds of embroidery with her own personal approach to mystical symbolism and self-empowerment through the use of symbols. She talks about intention. To view the world from a mystical perspective is to hold all things in reverence, honoring the divine essence in all forms of life. The emergence of an idea out of nowhere, the manifestation of inner visions into the outer world, the impact of viewing a work of art, these elements of the creative process that science cannot explain possess a truly mystical quality. Every day we are confronted with the choice of conforming to the ways of society or courageously creating a life for ourselves. The more we become familiar with our ability to manifest change in the physical world through creative activities, the more empowered we are to manifest change in our lives. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Christy. Um, You know, I could never have said that as beautifully as, as you did in this book. And I love it so much. And I've had that experience so much in my life. I am a super creative, as I like to call myself these days. Christy has essentially captured her process in this book, and she takes us from the beginning of learning stitches and just identifying the impact of doing slow, creative work. And a practice of doing that is a way to heal ourselves emotionally, spiritually and physically, the science of slowness and creativity, and really the magical connection between who we are as humans and the spiritual world, you know, is really the connection between ourselves as makers and what we produce and what we look at, what we believe and what we take in. All of those things are part of the creative process. And Christy is a firm believer, and I am too, in the ability to make our worlds how we want them to be. The ability to envision a better future and a connection to things that are meaningful and healing and rewarding to us as individuals and in society. I personally don't think society has to be a terrible place <laughs> like it is in many corners these days. And so, you know, as a sociologist, I'm always thinking about that. And as a creative, I'm always trying to figure out how can I make the world a better place? And I want to invite you to do the same. And, you know, many of you are children and don't worry, you don't have to take it all on yourselves. Start small, start with stitches, start with drawings, start with envisioning and dreaming and drawing and creating the things that you want to have around you, the things that will help you feel good and happy and cared for, and then take it to the next level when you're ready. And hopefully we will be here with you to help guide you and share our process with you. In this book, she shows us a lot of um, different kinds of techniques um, from the very beginning of types of stitches, setting up your embroidery hoop, what kind of threads you should use, thinking about color, color palette, how to trace um, symbols. And then she goes into a lot more and gives you lots of patterns for symbols. Symbology would be another way to think about like a set of symbols. And her approach to symbology is meaningful ideas, uh, images, right? Tokens. Like for me, astrology images are always important. I'm a Leo. I always identify as a Leo. And so the lion and the sun being the ruler of Leo are always important images for me. And so she suggests that you come up with your own meaningful set of images. What do you connect with? And then use those to really develop your own style. She, of course, gives us a lot of symbols in her book and helps us think about how we can use embroidery and art and a practice as a kind of ritual 
for healing, meditation, spiritual and personal growth, which are all so important these days as we change so much in our world and the kinds of crises that we're facing as a, as a human race. So what we need to think about is how we can slow down and connect. And Christy Johnson does this beautiful job of showing us how she's managed to do it while creating her art as an embroidery artist. So thank you so much, Christy. And I, I look forward to using your book in the years to come. And with that, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much. We're on thecifa.org. Come see us. Come take a class with us. Hope to connect soon. Bye-bye.